Liebe Freundinnen und Freunde in Kenia, Dear friends in Kenya, I am happy about this opportunity and I am thrilled that it is also a Kenya edition of the Pesticide Atlas from the Heinrich Bohr Foundation. Because the pesticide debate and associated action tackles critical issues such as environmental protection, the production of healthy food and the protection of people from the effects of agricultural toxins. My name is Karl Bär. I'm a member of parliament in Germany, but I was approximately one year before my election engaged in environmental movement in Germany and Europe. I work for the Environment Institute in Munich and, among other things, co-founded the European Citizens' Initiative on Saving Bees and Farmers. Here we gathered over one million signatures to advocate for the gradual exit of the chemical synthetic pesticides used in the whole of Europe. That should be the goal for all of us, and I believe that we would do well to work together to achieve it. I will give you two examples of why the fight against pesticides is not a national one or one that can only take place in limited protected areas. The first example is something we, the Green Party, are doing as part of the federal government here in Germany. Our Federal Minister for Agriculture and Consumer Protection, Jem Ozdemir, has proposed introducing a ban on the export of pesticides that are harmful to health and are banned here. An export ban will end the double standards of banning active ingredients here because we unanimously agree they are too dangerous. While at the same time, our companies in Germany and Europe still export these ingredients to other countries where they harm and damage humans and nature. I know you are fighting to deregister and ban toxic pesticides in Kenya, and we are fighting to stop the export now. That goes well together. We should get off these double standards. And the second example of why we can't fight here alone for the preservation of nature is the migratory birds, like the hopper. For example, you may know they are probably on their way to you now. When it's summer here, they are with us. If they can't find food for their offspring, they cannot come to you in winter. Conversely, if they disappear from your country, they will not be able to spend their summer in our country. If we want to preserve nature, we have to do it all over the world. And we have to preserve our biodiversity, our oceans, our forests, and everything that keeps us alive, especially our climate. And for this, we must fight together. I am happy that I have allies in Kenya, and I wish you a successful meeting and a nice lunch. See you soon.